There are multiple animals out there in the wilds of the world that people in general don't want to mess with. They can sometimes be the most dangerous of creatures, ones that are vastly stronger, faster, tougher, and even more cunning than people. When you look at them doing their thing, you would imagine there's nothing that can hurt them. No beast that could top them, but that's not always the case. For example, crocodiles and alligators are some of the deadliest predators in the world, but even they sometimes pick on creatures that should have just been left alone. Here now are 20 times that crocodiles and alligators messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Baboons vs. Croc We'll begin the video with one that doesn't end the way that you would expect, because in Africa, some baboons were near a watering hole just doing their thing when a crocodile jumped out and grabbed one of their babies. At first, as is their instinct, they got away from the predator. The croc tried to drag the baby into the water, but it never got that far. The other baboons would risk everything to get the baby back and push the croc away so that they could save it. Now, if you've ever watched the Disney movie Tarzan, you would know that baboons are very protective of their young, and they'll strike at anything that gets too close to them. Surely enough, the baboons were able to get the baby back. But sadly, the rescue was in vain, because while they did get the baby, it was already dead by the time the mother held it in its arms again. You can see the emotion in the mother's face after it realizes that they were too late to save the young. So while the croc did mess with the wrong opponent, and they did not get the meal that they were clearly hoping for, they weren't exactly losers in the scenario either. The croc was alive and thus able to feed again, and the baboons were too late to save one of their own. Sadly, this is one of the things about nature that gets washed over in our depictions of it. Not everyone makes it out of these attacks alive or even in one piece, but the baboon mother was without its child now, and it was all because of the ambush of the crocodile. Sometimes brave actions don't pay off, even in nature. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Take a look at this picture, and before you say anything, I do know that it's photoshopped. In fact, that's part of the point of the picture. It is a recreation of another event that was claimed to have been seen by humans, one that featured a crocodile going up against a gorilla. Apparently, and also in Africa, a baby gorilla was in danger of being eaten by a crocodile, but soon after the crocodile tried to get it, the father took it on to save his child. Unlike with the baboons, the father gorilla was more than a match for the croc. Going back to Disney's Tarzan, the alpha gorilla is one of the protectors of the pack, and Kerchak would not let anything happen to one of his own, and that's what happened here. While I can't say that the gorilla ripped the crocodile limb from limb, what I can guess is that it gave it quite the thrashing until it slunk away. When crocodile and alligators messed with wrong opponents, bad things happen to them. And sure, they can't help but go after the weakest of prey, but that can also backfire if they're not sure what's near. As always, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Croc vs. Boars Here's a third story for you featuring a crocodile going after some younglings and paying the price for it. Again, it may seem dumb that they would go after such weak prey, but you have to remember something about crocs and creatures of the like. They're ambush predators, and they'll go after any prey that they feel can be easy to get, easy to kill, and easy to feast on. Unlike the lion or a wolf or a bear, they're not the relentless type. They'll go in to try to get the prey and then try to feast on it, plain and simple. So in this one, one such crocodile bears witness to a bunch of tiny wild boars crossing its path. Of course, it's going to strike while the iron is hot, because what else is it going to do with its day? As you can imagine, the parents of those little boars were not amused and rushed right in. In fact, it's a great example of how to beat a crocodile easily. You've got the numbers advantage. Because a downside to being solely a quick strike predator is that you can't watch your back or sides when you're attacking from the front. It's almost comical how well the boars beat the croc into submission. They even go full parent by surrounding their little ones afterwards to shield them from a potential second strike from the croc. 
Thankfully, it was never an option. As you can see, the crocodile was more than fine with resting after the battle because it knew it wasn't going to eat. As Mythbusters would once prove, if you can get away from that first strike, the croc won't mess with you anymore. Number 18. Lions vs. Croc When you live in an area that's populated by multiple top predators, one thing that you rarely see is those predators going at each other. Mainly because game respects game, and most predators go after prey that they know they can kill. The last thing they want to do is take on something that can fight back and then get injured as a result. In Africa, near a watering hole, an elephant would die, and that's basically a signal for the other animals to come in and feast on its remains. In this video, we see that a pride of lionesses and a crocodile both had the same idea. The problem is that the lionesses don't want the croc to eat their meal, so even though it didn't attack them first, they go to war with the crocodile, and it's quite the sight to see, as excited people note as they watch the clash. As you can see, the lioness has the advantage as it's three on one, but unlike with the boars, they did not stop the attack. Instead, they just kept on going, and to its credit, the crocodile doesn't back down either. It thrashes around and uses its tough hide to endure the strikes and try to bite back at the cats. The battle was apparently long and arduous, and you can see the tactics of both sides in the play as the croc tries to get into a better position to fend off the cats, while the cats play the patience game and wait for an opening to attack. It's a fascinating bit of psychology, and you almost wonder who's going to win, but in the end, as these still images show, the lionesses come out on top and feast on their elephant prize. Now, I can't say that they killed the croc, but they did make sure that it did not get their meal. And don't forget, it's the lionesses that hunt and kill the food, and not the males. Number 17. Water Buffalo vs. Croc Here's a video from the BBC. They love doing nature documentaries, if you didn't know, and they can't stop making them if I'm being honest. They were able to catch a video of a crocodile going and taking on a water buffalo, and while it was unsuccessful, it was a perfect display of how dangerous a crocodile can be in the water. Because as you can see, the clip begins with a herd of water buffalo going to a watering hole in order to replenish themselves, and as they do, we can very clearly see the crocodile sneaking up on them, yet they don't react at all. Even the narrator says that they're blind to the danger that they're in. And when the narrator says you're in trouble, you know you're in trouble. That's right, there's one of the classic techniques of both crocs and gators. They'll slink through the waters of their habitat and barely make a sound. Their bodies will help them merge color-wise with the water, and even if they're above the water, some creatures just simply don't notice, or they don't think it'll do anything, which is oftentimes a huge mistake. Case in point, the croc is able to grab a hold of one of the water buffalo, causing the rest of the herd to scatter, but as you can see, it's not holding on by much. In fact, it's barely holding on at all, but it does have enough of a grip to not let go as the water buffalo backs it up to the herd. Only when the crocodile realizes the danger that it's in does it let go and slink back into the water. Sometimes even a predator takes on something that it can't hold on to, and those water buffalo have enough mass to resist a surprise strike so long as it doesn't get a good first bite. Number 16. Croc vs. Elephant now, here's just the case of a crocodile being stupid, because as I just told you, there are some creatures that crocs cannot deal a damaging blow to because of their mass, and yet this one thinks that it can take on an elephant. Granted, if it were a newborn, it may have stood a chance, but this one was well into its life, and it had the mass to back it up, yet the crocodile still went for it. You don't have to be a real genius to figure out what happens next. In this case, the crocodile was able to bite the trunk of the young elephant, which is really bad because the trunk is arguably the most important part. The young elephant struggles to get it off as the rest of the pack watch on in horror, but eventually the mother elephant has had enough of the croc's crap and then rushes in to stomp all over it. Now if you forgot, an elephant can at times weigh up to 13,000 pounds, and even if it was half of that, just imagine the weight pressing down on you from its massive foot. It would crush you in seconds, and while the croc may not have died here based on the clip, it definitely learned the error of its ways. Never forget that elephants are one of the most protective creatures in the world, and they'll rush in on anything and anyone that gets too close to their babies without permission. Even if you don't mean any harm, they're not going to care. 
That crocodile should have cared though, because it won't be messing with the elephants again after this. And sadly, for all of croc kind, it wasn't the only one to go after an elephant and have a poor result. Number 15. Hippos vs. Croc this is both majestic and horrifying at the same time. A lot of people have many misconceptions about hippos because of how they're portrayed in media. You might be thinking of a board game starring them or how they're depicted in animated movies like Madagascar, but the truth is, hippos are one of the most dangerous animals in the world today, and that's a fact. They're big and bulky and powerful and can be quick to anger, and they can also run a lot faster than you would think. They've stampeded on campgrounds with no provocation, flipped boats, and literally bit people in half with their jaws. So now just imagine a crocodile trying to mess with them and it's not going to end well at all. In fact, as you can see in the short video, a croc came onto a bed of water that was full of hippos and they were so mad at the crocodile that they lifted it up with their sheer mass and pushed it away before trying to attack it further. The crocodile can do nothing to these behemoths and it is the underdog in this situation, which is not usually how confrontations tend to go with them. But when you have a bunch of hippos that don't want anything from you, you're only choice is to just go bye-bye. When will these crocodiles even learn? Not soon, given that we're not even halfway through the video yet. Number 14. Crocodile vs. Electric Eel have you ever played a fighting game that features well-known characters, and instead of doing the typical matchups, you decide to do a bit of an oddball choice? Well, this is one example of that in the real world, because if you were to picture a crocodile going up against an electric eel, you would likely bet on the croc. The croc has more mass, it has a quick striking ability, and even more. However, there have been many videos put out on the internet that have shown the opposite occurring. The electric eel kills a shark, but how is it possible? Well, the shark of the electric eel is very powerful. It has three different organs within its body that can produce a very well high-powered charge. Plus, when electricity mixes with water, the power goes up. So in this video, we can see a caiman seemingly about to get its victory when the eel shocks it and kills it to death. They even bring in an expert to say that it is a real video and not fake in the slightest. So yes, electric eels are more than capable of killing a crocodile. Number 13. Deer vs. Crocodile Typically, a fight between a crocodile and a deer is going to end one way. That's with the croc having a meal for it to savor across a few days. Unlike many of the creatures that you've already seen face down a crocodile, deer have none of the offensive advantages to take one on. Even a 10-point buck would have difficulty attacking the ambush predator, so you just have to ask yourself, how is the deer going to survive? Luck and quick reaction time, it would seem. Remember when I said that crocs blend into the water to attack unsuspecting prey? Well, this is the best video that showcases that. If you look at the deer, it's drinking water and there are no signs of a croc being anywhere near it, you would swear that you'd see something poke out of the water to indicate the strike was going to happen, but it doesn't. Everything is fine and then wham. The crocodile flies out of the water and it's only because the deer is agile that they're barely able to get away. It's so sudden that you almost have a heart attack when it occurs because you're basically screaming where did it come from. And the crocodile even solidifies its camouflage abilities by slowly going back into the water and then sinking below the surface so that it can strike again when no one's suspecting it. If that deer was just a fraction of a second slower, it would be in the jaws of the crocodile and being dragged into its watery grave. Number 12. Croc vs. Zebra Many of the videos that you've seen have featured only one or two emotions from the crocodiles. You see it as being stoic, where it barely emotes, and just lets its prey think that they've got the best of it at times. And then you see its angry side, like with the lionesses, and they want to make them regret messing with them. But have you ever seen a croc frustrated? I doubt you really have. This hilarious clip shows a picture-perfect ambush scenario where a zebra is crossing a river and it has its back to the water. It's not even trying to look for predators, which means that it doesn't suspect that a crocodile is literally right behind 
behind it, poised to strike. However, when the croc does make it strike, the croc whiffs. I mean, seriously, it missed it by a good several inches, and it really should not have. The zebra was right there, and all it had to do was grab its leg and drag it back into the water to make it an easy meal. Now, the crocodile obviously realized that, because after it understood that it lost its very easy pick-off prey, it thrashed around in the water as if it was throwing a temper tantrum. Even animals have bad days, so better luck next time. Number 11. Giant Otters vs. Crocodile now I'm going to be very clear, I'm not talking about your typical otters that you're going to see at the zoo or even on your local coastline or river. These are the South American creature that can sometimes be up to six feet in length. These giant otters prefer to be left alone, but when they have a predator nearby, they're not afraid to gang up on it to show them that they're not scared. That's exactly what takes place here, as a crocodile is literally stunned into submission because of the overwhelming numbers of the giant otters. constantly makes threatening moves toward the otters and they do jump back in reflex, but then they go on to harass the crocodile until it's pushed away. And to be clear, the croc had these otters beaten in size, weight, and power, but because of their numbers and willingness to fight off the threat together, they were able to overcome. Like I said before, a great way to beat a crocodile or a gator is the numbers game. These giant otters had the numbers, and so they won. Number 10. Crocodile versus Wildebeest now, I'll admit that I've been picking on the crocs for quite a bit and showing all of their failures, but now we'll show them in a victory, albeit one that had a little bit of luck involved. If you've ever watched The Lion King, you know the last thing you want to be in is the path of a horde of wildebeests as they're running wild, and in this video, a swarm of them are going across a river to try and get to new ground. problem is that there are crocs in the water, and the crocs know that they're going to struggle to get up the other side of the area. So they simply lie in wait and try to take out some of the younglings as they cross. One of them does manage to escape, but another was not so fortunate. It took two crocs to bring it down, and apparently a bit of the wildebeest's head off. Now, that's why you don't want to miss with crocodiles. Number 9. Tiger vs. Crocodile now, I've already shown a croc going up against one of the big cats, so how about I show you another? When it comes to tigers, they're bigger than lions. A lot of people forget that because of the king of the jungle status for the lions, but not only do they have the size, they also have the speed, the power, and the fearlessness to go up against just about anything that may get in its way. That includes the crocodile. As you'll see in this compilation clip, there are plenty of cases of tigers going after crocodiles and making sure that they understand who the real boss is. Now, they're so big that they can actually take down a croc single-handedly, but they'll attack in groups should the urge come to them. Number 8. Crocodile vs. Gorilla I've already talked about a potential fight between a croc and a gorilla that allegedly took place, but if you look it up on the internet, and I did, you'll actually see no filmed fights between the two. It's rather odd, wouldn't you say? What this shows is that not every animal fight you want happens, and if the two species never collide, then they never have a reason to fight. That being said, gorillas are such impressive creatures that they can easily take down a crocodile or a gator should they need to. Silverback gorillas, for example, can deadlift over 1,800 pounds. That's more than enough to fight off a gorilla and take it down. Some scientists predict that gorillas are strong enough to crush the skulls of a crocodile, so for their sake, the croc better hope that it doesn't meet a gorilla. Number 7. Alligator Snapping Turtle vs. Crocodile now we have a two-for-one special for you to enjoy and lose your lunch over. The alligator snapping turtle is one of the biggest and most aggressive, most powerful turtles out there, and unlike many of its kind, the turtle actually has a jaw that's more than powerful enough to break bone, pierce flesh, and devour their foes. So what's it going to do against a crocodile? Well, it really depends on the situation. In one clip, there's a wild gator that's able to jump on the snapping turtle and eat it without much of an issue. And then, in a zoo or similar situation, a baby croc is literally fed to the snapping turtle and happily partakes in its meal. And it's absolutely disgusting. The point is, circumstances do matter in how things go down. Number 6. Croc vs. Jaguar 
Jaguars are sometimes the forgotten big cat, as many people love to praise the lions, the tigers, and the cheetahs, but jaguars are one of the apex predators of their domain, and they have more than enough speed, power, and skill to take down other predators. However, if you don't believe me, just watch this video of a jaguar not only fighting a crocodile, but brutally murdering it later. The key thing to note here is that in a twist of fate, the jaguar got the surprise jump on the croc. It was able to get into a position where the croc couldn't thrash around to shake it off, and it just kept on and even dragged it onto dry land so that the croc would be out of its element. Eventually, the jaguar devoured its prey with a bloody smile on its face, and that, my friends, is simply the law of nature. Number 5. Dog versus Crocodile Here's another example of a fight that's not going to end the way you think, because while dogs are tough, they're still very fleshy meat sacks, especially if you don't have a bulkier dog like a Great Dane. In this case, the dog would be walking on the beach with its owner, and the owner stepped away when it heard their dog Banjo yelping in pain. They turned to see it fighting off a saltwater crocodile, and if you don't know, that's one of the most dangerous crocodile species around. Yet the dog was not only able to survive its bite, it actually bit back and got the croc to flee. Then it walked away like it had not been bitten by something that totally could have murdered it. Sometimes animals surprise you, and you should be grateful when they do that. Number 4. Alligator vs. Horse now, I'm almost done with this video, and I could hear you saying, weren't there supposed to be alligators in here too? Well, here you go. I don't write the stuff, I just read it and run my mouth a lot. This is a battle between a horse and an alligator, not exactly the matchup that you would think happened, given that the two don't live next to each other very often, but here you go anyways. Another thing you wouldn't expect is that the alligator is not the aggressor here. A herd of horses is passing through the area, and the alligator is looking in the entirely opposite direction. However, the lead horse doesn't want it anywhere near them and straight up attacks it with its hooves. The alligator took the hint and slunk away, but even the people watching would be shocked. Thankfully, one of the things that they said was, did you get that? Because of course, getting the footage is all that matters, right? Number 3. Dog and Ducks vs. Alligator now there's a heading you probably didn't expect, and it's one that is equally as unique as it is adorable. Oh, and there's no video for this one, but just picture the scene. A black Labrador named Beauty made friends with the ducks that lived with her owner, and the dog would watch the ducks as they swam in the nearby lake. One day an alligator came out of nowhere and attacked the ducks, and when it did, Beauty rushed in to save the ducks' lives. It got injured, but the ducks were okay, and Beauty would lead the ducks back to the house. Even the owner was floored by what had happened and couldn't believe what Beauty had done, and they were grateful that the dogs and the ducks were okay, and so am I. This is why dogs are man's and duck's best friend. Number 2. Crocodile vs. Python this one's a little bit disgusting, but you wanted to watch videos of animals fighting. Sometimes they're going to get busy. If you were to be told that a snake would fight a crocodile, hopefully your first instinct would be to ask what type of snake. Because if it's a garter snake, it's not got a chance. But when it's a massive python, one that could actually swallow it whole, then that's a different story entirely now, isn't it? In Australia, obviously, it's exactly what happened. In Queensland, a python battled a crocodile and eventually was able to wrap its body around it, squeezing the life out of it, and then slowly devouring it whole. I'll just let the video show you the rest of the bloody story. Number 1. Bear vs. Crocodile while crocodiles can put on a tough exterior, if they mess with the wrong foe, they're going to get smacked around. While this video is not the best of quality, it does show an impressively sized bear going up against a crocodile. The crocodile tries to intimidate the bear, however, it's not having any of it and smacks the croc around until it backs off. It's not the most intense fight, but it was never going to be. Bears greatly outweigh and overpower crocodiles, plus they're a lot more agile and limber, so even if the croc were to bite at its limbs, it's more than powerful enough to throw it off or even beat it until it lets go. If it were to win, it would be barely. 
That's all from the battlefield of the wild where crocodiles and alligators have met their match, and just imagine how much more exciting the video would have been if there had been more than one alligator in the whole entire list. Which of these fights did you feel was the most entertaining, and do you know of any other apex predators who had met their match? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below, check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.